Some stuff I like. I got in an argument with one of those YouTube YouTube gurus that the, you know, like how to grow your audience or something. He's like, everyone should be doing shorts. And I was like, oh boy, I'm going to have to disagree with you there, buddy. Uh, I think shorts are awful and I don't think you should do shorts. I don't think there's any point in doing shorts. And he's like, well, you don't know anything, blah, blah, blah. You know, you, it's all about reach and all this other stuff. And I was like, all right, you know, <laughs> I didn't respond to that because I was just like, that's not really worth, you know, uh, what's the famous quote? Don't ever argue with an idiot. They're just going to drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. And I was like, at this point, I was like, this is going to a spot. I don't want it to go, but yeah, YouTube shorts are just awful. I just, I don't see a point in them. And I guess, I guess the point I think people are trying to make with them is it's best to get as many views and as many eyeballs as possible. But my counter argument to that is one, I hate, I hate shorts just in general. Like I think short form content is just killing people's minds, even in educational terms. Like I can explain like basic terminal commands in shorts. So it's not completely lost on me and I could make better shorts, but the, the question I keep coming back to is why? If someone, if you can't hold someone's attention longer than a minute, is that person really worthy of being, do you really want to reach that person? Do you really want them as a viewer? And my answer is no. If you can't, if you don't have an attention span longer than 60 seconds, I'm sorry, go watch someone else. I'm cool with that. I'm just not for you. And I'm okay with that. I don't need to appeal to the goldfish mentality. And I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. Old man yells at cloud moment, but I don't know. I just hate short form content. And, and honestly, if you're, you're trying to do short form, why would you use YouTube shorts anyways? Just use TikTok, hundred percent. Yeah. It's like TikTok inside of YouTube, except worse. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's better that I TikTok's based in China. So instead of, you know, you Google doing your stuff, then you got to worry about ByteDance instead of Google. But I'm like, ah, potato, potato. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad either way. <laughs> yeah, there's no profit in it though. I think that's the other thing. Like, you know, I, I don't do this for a living, but I guess I do to an extent, like most people would do it for a living in my position. Um, yeah, there's no money there. I, I, you know, I got like a couple million views and I don't know, 30 million impressions. And I made 30 TikToks took me, I don't know, three, four hours worth of time. And I think I made $22 off of that. So obviously there's not that you can't put links in the description. So you got no conversion to anything else. I guess you could put it on screen. Um, yeah, I don't see a point in short form. There's like from a business standpoint, it makes no sense. The only thing I can think of is it strokes your ego a little bit because you get all a whole bunch of big numbers. But I, I'm fine making fun of people that watch short form. <laughs> and you can't put ads on short firm. Yeah, no. I, although I don't do sponsor spots anyways, plus, plus seven. Yeah. So like, yeah, sponsor spots in YouTube videos are, is, is a lot of creators bread and butter. If I was a full-time creator, I would ne definitely need to be doing sponsor spots. By the way, if you want to skip all that sponsor block, oh man, check this out. Uh, let's just go YouTube. Let's pull up like a LTT video. I know there'll be a bunch. The master of the sponsor segment. Look at this. So here's the sponsor right here. And here's the sponsor. So you're right here. Oh, let's see. So it's playing. And once it gets up to the spot where he's about to segue, he's like, here's a segue into our sponsor. And bam, sponsor skipped. And then it goes right into the phone. Same at the end. So he's going over the phone 
and it's about to hit the sponsor segment. Here comes the segue. And here's a sponsor. Blah, blah, blah. And it immediately skips over the entire sponsor spot. I love this thing. It's called Sponsor Block. I don't know if it's the best YouTube extension, but honestly, it's great. It's like a win-win for everybody. Creators get the money. get They get their bag from there. The viewer's not pissed off because it just skips over everything. It's sick. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Return dislikes on YouTube's also cool. So like you're not hurting anybody by using sponsor block. I guess if sponsors figured out sponsor block exists, they may not want to work with creators as much. But even then, most most big companies are so stupid that they don't they don't even understand how to content or create even even get that relationship going with most creators. So if you already have those established, a lot of the people don't really even care so much about the YouTube uh, ad, ad integration. Yeah, they, they care about the views of the video, but there's no metric for sponsor block. <laughs> so if you're someone in my audience and ever I, I do a sponsor video, by all means, use sponsor block. It's awesome. <laughs> it's genius. Uh, yeah, and honestly, ad block exists, and that's it, ad block takes care of almost all the uh, all your YouTube ads, but they still chunk tons of money at the YouTube ads. How many people have sponsor block installed? Not many. Probably more people in my audience, though. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely more people now if you've never used sponsor block. Whoo! Awesome. Uh, it's gonna save you so much time. 